name is Shami Ru. It is the seventh day of NaNoWriMo. I have 14,437 words, and this is the worst video by far that I've ever filmed for this channel. There is going to be absolutely no editing in this video, no jump cuts, no nothing, no, no title sequence that I normally put because I wrote no words today. First, I want to see a movie. Um, I saw Interstellar. It was very good. You should see it if you're not busy with Vanetta no Rima, which you are. So actually, see it when it comes out on DVD. But it, it was pretty good. Um, then I spent the whole day reading Rochelle Mead's Bloodline series. Not my smartest move. So if you're going to be doing NaNoWriMo, probably the thing that you don't want to do is read other people's like published writing. Because first of all, you're wasting a lot of time that you could be using to write. Second of all, you are going to feel really, really bad about yourself because you're going to read it and you're going to say, Oh my god, I can't write. What am I doing? This person is like successful and they're, they're published and they're really, really good at writing and here I am just sitting and writing, and I'm bad at it, what am I doing? But comparing yourself to, like, a published novel is not a good idea, because they've probably gone through, like, tons and tons of editing, and you're just frantically writing down words to get to a word goal. And those are two really different things. There are different components to writing, and after you write a draft you have to edit extensively because otherwise what you wrote is horrible and you probably researched some stuff wrong, so you have to go into it more. Those novels, like, I'm gonna take out a novel. This novel, for example, Becca Fitzpatrick's Black Ice, which I have not read yet because I got it recently, but it should be good. Um, I can't compare my writing to this, because this has been like, there's a cover, and it's polished, and it's taken like years to write, probably not years, I don't, I don't know how long it took to write, I don't, I'm not Becca Fitzpatrick, or her publisher, I don't know what she's done, but this has taken a really, really long time to write, and if you're comparing yourself, and your 30 day frantic scribbling of words to this, it's just not gonna work. So, basically, don't read during NoMo. It's not a good idea. You, you are gonna wanna just write the words. Just do all of the writing and do nothing else. Stay off, like fan fiction even, because unless you're reading really bad fan fiction to make yourself feel really, really good about yourself. Because I did that last night, and I was like. I feel like I'm so, I write so much better than this person because they're just using like I don't know what this person is talking about and the plot made no sense. I'm sorry to fan fiction writers, but some of your writing is just not good. Sometimes it'll be like the plot is completely incoherent. I don't even know what this person is trying to say. So if you want to do that to make you yourself feel really good about yourself, then do that. And there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like a lot of people think it's wrong to think that you're better than other people, but sometimes you're just better at things than other people are. Like, you're better at the alphabet than a three-year-old is. I hope. So, basically, do all of the writing and none of the reading. Save reading until December, even though I really, really want to read The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare. It's coming out on Tuesday, and I'm just like, I need to read it. But, don't do that, because... You'll feel bad about yourself, and I'll feel bad about myself, and it'll just be a mess, and then you won't get anything done. Sorry about the poorly edited video and a lot of rambling. Um, that's kind of me. If you liked that rambling, then you should like this video. And if you want to stick around for better quality videos, then you should subscribe to my channel, because that's the thing you can do. And uh, good luck noveling. I hope if you stayed until the end, it wasn't too painful for you. Cool. Get your words done. You can do it. It's only been a week. Holy God, it's been a week. Why are you even- d Leave. Don't- don't be here right now. I'm not saying anything. Why am I still talking? I should be writing. Bye!